Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are mainly going to talk about the two types of nasal voices. Nasal voice is basically a type of speaking voice with a nasal quality and there are two types of nasal voices, hyponasal in which sound does not have enough resonance and hypernasal sound with too much resonance. So firstly talk about the condition rhinolalia clausa or hyponasality in which the word rhino means nose, lalia means speech and clausa is for closed. It is a disorder of voice due to decreased air flow through the nose during speech due to the blockage of nose or nasopharynx such as when a person is having a nasal congestion. And rhinolalia clausa or hyponasality occurs in the following conditions including allergic rhinitis, deviated nasal septum, nasal polyps, adenoid hypertrophy, turbinate hypertrophy and in familial or habitual speech pattern. Next the other condition rhinolalia aperta or hypernasality in which the rhino is for nose, lalia is for speech and aperta means open. So it is a disorder which causes abnormal resonance in human voice due to increased air flow through the nose due to abnormal communication between the oral and nasal cavities. And rhinolalia aperta occurs in the following conditions including velopharyngeal insufficiency, cleft palate, oronasal fistula, post adenoidectomy, paralysis of soft palate and in familial or habitual speech patterns. The main cause of hypernasality or hypernasal voice is the problem with the velopharyngeal valve which is called velopharyngeal dysfunction. Velopharyngeal valve is a muscular valve that extends from the posterior surface of the heart palate or the roof of the mouth to the posterior pharyngeal wall including the vallum or soft palate, lateral pharyngeal walls and the posterior pharyngeal valve. What is the treatment of nasal voice? Basically we have to treat the underlying cause which is causing the condition for which medications are given including the nasal decongestants, antihistamines and steroid nasal sprays which help to relieve the congestion and swelling due to allergies, infections, polyps or deviated septum. Antibiotics can also be given to treat the bacterial infections. While surgery is done to fix the structural abnormalities such as tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy is done for removal of enlarged tonsils and adenoids, septoplasty to correct deviated nasal septum, endoscopic sinus surgery to remove the nasal polyps and corrective surgery for cleft palate in babies around 12 months of age. Speech therapy can also be done to correct the problem before or after surgery. That's all about today's video. Subscribe to the channel for more updates. Share it with your friends and thanks for watching.